In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ryobi Surface Pressure Washer Attachment, how to clean large surface areas as efficiently as possible. You can see here it's got these spinning nozzles that do an incredible job, and as you can see, it cleans this surface incredibly well, but there is a trick to using these things. Originally, when I started using this unit, what I would do is I will attach it to my washer gun here, and I'll shut it off for safety, of course. I'll click it on, turn this back on. I probably should be wearing safety glasses, but we'll ignore that fact. And originally what I was doing is I was dragging up and down the driveway. But what happens is, is the, the washer surf or the surface head begins spraying the gunk off. I keep dragging this gunk up and down the driveway. So when I'm dragging the unit up the driveway, it's actually dragging the muck that it's blasting off back up onto the driveway. That was a mistake. So what I learned, that's what I'm telling you in this video, is when you're doing this and using these surface washers, start at the highest point in your driveway, which for me is over here. And so what I do is I go da or back and forth and then start moving down the grade of the driveway. Now, if you've got a deck or something that's totally flat, eh, you're toast. But for the driveway or anything with a slope, you want to start at the highest part of the slope and then in at the lowest. And that way, the surface washer will do its thing and the muck will keep flowing down. So as I come over here, see how dirty that water is? It's pretty crazy. And then I'll come over here. And then as I do the one third, you want to do about one third of this head coverage. You don't want to do over here because you'll miss it. And you can see the swirl marks there, how effective this is. This totally blows away a regular nozzle. And you can see how this thing works. It's really pretty incredible. But the trick with my lower pressure electric washer is you just move real slow, just like this. And just for uh, sake of video time, you move it over about two thirds of the head and I'm moving down the driveway. I don't come up the driveway and then back down. I learned that the hard way. It just adds more work. And the nice thing is I'm six feet tall and I don't have to use hardly any force. And this is super, super easy. And you can see all that muck is coming off. So originally when I was doing this, I was using the washer and dragging back up and that drags the mud back up the driveway, uh, my mistake. So I finally figured out not as efficient by doing this pattern and moving down the driveway like the pressure washer when you point the nozzle always down the slope. This obviously doesn't have a pointable nozzle, but the whole surface, if you keep moving downhill, it makes the cleaning process so much easier. I will put a link below to the airplane flying above and <laughs> this surface washer attachment. Totally awesome. I've got another video reviewing the surface washer, also the 2000 PSI pressure washer, and the trick of how when some people have complained in reviews about hey, uh, my pressure washer turns on and turns off and the pressure isn't great. I've got a trick in that video too. So hopefully you found this video useful on how to be super efficient using a surface washer for your pressure washer and enjoy it. Please like and comment on the video and if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a reviewer and oddly enough, a polar explorer who does a lot of crazy stuff. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your clean driveway. Thank <laughs> you.